This is Ambazonia Television, known as Amba TV. Uh, we are excited for this great TV and this new TV that God has given us uh, for Ambazonia, for the people of Southern Cameroon's Ambazonia. Uh, this is actually our first uh, broadcast, which is aimed as, at uh, introducing this TV to our people and uh, also to lay the grounds for support and to give you information on how our programs are going to look like moving forward. We want to salute and greet all of you, brave, great, and wonderful people of Southern Cameroon, Ambazonia, uh, be it back at home, here in the United States, in Europe, and around the world. Ambazonia Television, Amba TV, is based in the United States, we are United States based, and we are broadcasting on YouTube on ambatv.us. So if you are watching us and you want somebody, your neighbor, your friend, fellow uh, Ambazonian comrade from Southern Cameroon, Ambazonia, if you want them to watch with you, tell them it is ambatv. Dot us just type amber tv dot us on youtube and you'll be able to watch us live make sure amber tv dot us is all in caps in capital letters and you'll be able to access the tv once more welcome to amber tv welcome to amber tv welcome to amber tv it is a great day in Southern Cameroon, Ambazonia. It is a great day that God has given to us. And uh, I want to assure you, this TV will be there for you. It will be there to bring you live information concerning the struggle. It will be available for you to run our programs, run your programs as a citizen of Ambazonia, a citizen of Southern Cameroon. So if you have any program that you want to run, please contact Amber TV and you will be put on live and you will run these programs and do your business and the world is going to be able to see it. But fundamentally, this is a TV of the people. This is not some kind of personal TV. It is the TV of the people. And that is why, from this initial stage, we are calling on, on all Ambazonians. We are calling on, on all Southern Cameroonians, residents, both home and abroad, to put their hands in this project. The project of Amber TV is open to every Ambazonian. Irrespective of where, which part of the world in which you are resident, we want to hear from you. We want support, we want partnership, we want people of our kindred of Ambazonia to put their hands in this initiative. Because this TV is going to expose us to the world and it's going to bring the truth about our struggle to the world and about our people, about our country, about our nation. So we are calling on, on every Ambazonian around the world to contact us and support this television. We are at the initial state and uh, we cannot run on our own. We need you to be part of this. We need you to be part of this. And therefore, I will immediately give you some contact information. And I will repeat it so that you get it right and you are able to reach out to us as we move forward. If you want to call us, the number 817 
866-3725 is the right number to dial. 817-566-3725. If you are out of the United States, dial plus one. Then 817-566-3725. We are a U.S. base and uh, we are calling all Southern Cameroonians and Ambazonians in U.S. to also take this as a great opportunity for them to be able to have this channel, have this TV founded and resident with them. This is something that is in-house. It is part of their thing. And I want them, we want them, we want everyone here in the United States to take this seriously. I appreciate you for being here today. And uh, I also want to add to our contacts an email through which you can reach to us. So if you want to write to us by email, write to ambatv.us at gmail.com ambatv.us at gmail.com I spell it A M B A T V dot US at gmail.com Send in your comments, send in your critiques, send in your contributions, send in your information, and it is going to be broadcasted. It is going to help us also a lot in able to grow and to be able to do the right thing, to put on a good TV program, a good TV station that is going to meet your needs. So we are looking forward to that information from you. Do not hesitate to write to us through that email or make that phone call. So that is that concerning our uh, information on how you can reach us. Now, I also want to reiterate that this TV is the TV of our people. It is not a privately owned or an individual TV, it is a TV of our people, and therefore, the sponsorship and the administration and the management and everything as far as the success of this TV is concerned is on us. It is on our people, it is on all of us. And as such, I'm calling, and we are calling on every Southern Cameroonian to send in their support send your support, call us to support this TV by words, by contributions in resources, be it material, physical, or spiritual resources. We want you to call us and support Amber TV because Amber TV is already going live. We are ready to go and we have a great package we have something wonderful. We have something great for you. Now, I'm not going to end without bringing you something just a little about the struggle. As we go on, we are going to have a program called The State of the Struggle. And in that program, we're going to learn a lot of history concerning Southern Cameroons, concerning Ambazonia. Uh, I, I will, and with other speakers, will be able to take you as far back as even to pre-colonization and to be able to trace our people to this day. Because sometimes we make errors, we make mistakes, not to know and not to believe that Southern Cameroonians and Bazoonians are a people, are a people on their own, and that our faith has just been thwarted by the effect of colonialism, both under the French, the British, and now under La Republic, which time has come, and in this year of the Lord, heaven itself has said that it is time for us 
to be free. It is time for us to be independent as a people. So, um, just to throw a little light on what Ambazonia means, Ambazonia uh, is a country. Ambazonia is the name of a people. Ambazonia is the name, the original name of the people of Southern Cameroons that we know today. We know that diplomatically, on paper, and all of that, politically, we are known as Southern Cameroonians, but our original name is Ambazonians, and once we get to Boya, we believe that we are going to authenticate that name and uh, we'll be able to take our real identity. But a lot of people do not know about Ambazonia. That is why I'm saying this in order to clarify you, to let you know that the name Ambazonia comes from the Ambas Bay, originated from even the present day Limbe that was adulterated, which had the, the name Victoria. The name Limbe is wrong. The, the right name is Victoria. So Ambas Bay comes from that bay, and that is the original name of our people. That is where it is coming from. It comes from the Ambas Bay in present-day uh, southern Cameroons. So again, as we move forward with this TV and our programs, some of that history is going to be in, unveiled to our people so that they will know that they are actually a people on their own. We are not uh, part and parcel of La Republique, indivisible as they always say. We are a different people and we have a different culture and we have a different history. So, uh, moving forward, again, this is Amber TV, Ambazonian Television, and we want to bring to you a television program, a television institution, a television organization that has world class and that is going to give you the kind of news that you will like and it's going to broadcast the state of the struggle to you, you know, following through chronologically as things are happening. We shall be update on, uh, updated, we shall be up to date, and uh, we are not going to miss anything as far as the, the, the struggle is concerned. But again, we cannot do this on our own. We need your support. We need you to be part of this. Now, spread the word on your WhatsApp groups, on your YouTube uh, 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 channels, on your Facebook, on every Instagram, every social media uh, outlet that you are using, or communication platform that you are using, please tell your neighbor, tell all Southern Cameroonians, and tell the world that Amber TV is already here, and it has come to stay, it has come to fulfill the destiny which it was meant even before the thought came, the idea came for it to be founded. So it is already here. It is already happening. We call on everybody. We call on everyone to be part of this. And the most important thing we'll be needing from you is your critics as we move forward. And also for you to fill the slots because we're going to have a lot of slots for programs. That idea, that business, that word that you had inside of you and you want to let the world hear can be made possible through amber tv it is time for that and uh, i'm going to let you know how to reach us once more i said this from the beginning and to close up i'm going to give you again our contact for us uh, to be able to be on one page so to reach us please uh, call the number 817 566-3725 and uh, to write to us by email write to ambatv.us at gmail.com a-m-b-a tv dot u-s at gmail dot com that is how you can reach to us uh, rounding up 
before I stop, I want to bring you some information, some few announcements uh, concerning the struggle. We know that in a couple of weeks, we are going to be receiving around the world our newly elected uh, governing council for Southern Cameroon. We have a governing council that has a chairman, a vice chairman, he has a secretary general, he has a legislative arm, and he has a judiciary arm. This formation is a pathway to Boya, it's a pathway to our government, and uh, they are already at work. They have been doing tremendous work. We have seen and uh, we have heard from our interim leader or our head of governing council, which whom we call the chairman, and uh, he is our president right now as I speak, and he will be making a tour. He has already started another tour with his team, and they will be right here to visit us. And uh, we are calling upon every Southern Cameroonian, every Ambazonian in the United States to be present in their various cities where our leaders will be in order to give them the support and to be able to show the world that we are resolute as a nation, we are resolute as a people, we are resolute as a country, and we have already taken the necessary steps to be able to secure and to restore our independence as a people. They will be here and based on this visit and based on resolutions that came from the last Nigerian conclave, our people resident in several and different parts of the world were regrouped into regions and into different chapters. So the United States was structured into six major chapters, which you can also call regions. We have the southwestern region, which is our own region, where we are. And this TV is founded in the southwestern region. So all Ambazonians, southern Cameroonians in the southwestern region, I'm calling on, on you to take this TV program very seriously. Take this opportunity, seize it, make it your own and be proud of it. Seize it, make it your own and be proud of it. So, we in the southern region, on the, in the southwestern region, are made up of six states. We have the great and the lone star state of Texas. We have the state of Oklahoma. We have the state of New Mexico. We have the state of Arizona. We have the state of Arkansas. And we have the state of Louisiana. These six states make up the southwestern region. So all Southern Cameroonians and Abazunians in these six states form that region and uh, we are going to receive our government, we are going to receive our people, we are going to receive our leaders in one of our major cities. That information is going to come to you live in a few days from now, still on this TV, and uh, you would know your responsibility and what you ought to do to give our leaders a very, very befitting welcome. I want you, on this basis, to begin to prepare yourself. Physically, you are going to be there. We are calling on you to be there. Materially, financially, we want you to be able to support this visit. So, we are giving this information out right now for you to get ready. And uh, we are also telling all other regions in the United States, the Northeast region, the DC area region, the Southwest, the Southeastern region, to get ready on the same terms, physically, financially, let them, let everyone be ready to receive our leaders. And uh, if you have any announcement around the U.S. and North America, which includes Canada, 
send in it in to Amber TV and we will be able to make that announcement for you so that the information can get to our people. We appreciate you for already keen in to be part of this and we know that this is going to be a great TV, this is going to be a great institution and a great organization for all our people. As I said from the beginning, we are calling on, on your financial support. Be part of this. Own this TV. Own it. We want Southern Cameroonians to actually own this TV and call it their thing. We are, want Ambazonians. This is Ambazonia TV. We want Ambazonians to own this Amber TV and call it their own. So your financial support is what we are going to run on. It's going to be run based on the support that will come from Ambazonians around the world. And those in the United States and in the southern region, as I said, this is an in-house something for you. And I want you to seize the opportunity without wasting any time. We have started today and we are calling on, of, on the grace of God, our Father, the peace of God the Son, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit to be with this TV, that the resources that we need and the performance that we need for this TV is going to be influenced, impacted, directed and guided by divinity himself. That God himself is going to pour down his spirit and pour down his power and pour down his anointing upon Amber TV and that Amber TV will fulfill its, its, its proper destiny in the name of Jesus. All the directors, partners, the workers, every human resource, every physical resource that we need we want to trust God from this beginning that he would touch the hearts of our people and cause them to come up and become part of this great movement for the struggle. Great movement for the restoration of our independence. Each day when I wake up, I prophesy and I declare and I say that the restoration of our independence is closer to us today than it was yesterday. We are closer to Boya today than we were yesterday. There might be some naysayers out there, some unbelievers out there, but I want to tell you that when God's hand is in something, whether you believe or you do not believe, He is going to make it to happen and He will make it happen big time. When the Lord said it was time for the children of Israel to leave Egypt, Pharaoh refused to believe. Pharaoh refused to accept. As a matter of fact, Pharaoh refused to let the people go. Even though God commanded and required of him that he should let the people go. He played unbeliever. He played big heart. He played power, struggle, and strength. But who can battle with the Lord? The Bible says nobody. Herod tried and he failed. Nebuchadnezzar tried and he failed. And uh, who is La Republic today? Who is the world today to try when God says our freedom, our independence is sure? Nobody can try and succeed because I know that the hand of God is in this, our struggle. I want you to understand that when time came, God had to do what he had to do in order to get the children of Israel out of the grips, out of the hands, out of the oppressive dominion of Pharaoh, and he set them free. The same is going to happen with Southern Cameroons. I believe with every iota of my body, with every fiber of my bone and of my flesh, 
that God is involved in this struggle and he will make it happen. As a matter of fact, he's already touching the hearts of those that are responsible. Touching the hearts of the United Nations who knows the truth, how and why we became a, 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 a prey, how we became a, 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 a spoil under the empire and under the oppression of La Republique. The United Nations knows and all these world powers know the truth and I believe that God is already touching their hearts. God is already touching the hearts of their leaders and they will come to the table and they will say let these people go and they will say it is time for these people to find their destiny and be the people that God has called them to be. I believe strongly that after air that we breathe after oxygen that we breathe is freedom the next thing is freedom because if you breathe air and you are not allowed to do what you ought to do or enjoy the life that your god has given you then it is worthless living and that is why when the founding fathers of the great country, the greatest country on earth, the United States, when the founding fathers found this nation, they decided to enact the declarations of independence that made the people to know that amongst everything, all men are born equal and that they are endowed with certain inalienable rights amongst which is the life of is, is amongst which is the freedom or it is the right is the right of life liberty and pursuit of happiness so among these inalienable rights we have the fundamental rights of life when you have life which is the air i mentioned about the next thing is that you have your freedom and then you can pursue your happiness. That is what the United States is built on. And that is why it remains to be the greatest country in the world. And I believe that America will not seek to watch a people oppress. A people that it knows very well that their independence was voted in 1961. But for some political games, they were passed as a gift to La Republic to oppress for 56 years today. We are speaking now in 2017. And we believe that in this same year, the UN and the United States will come back to the table, will come back to their senses, will come back to their humanitarian nature, will come back to their fundamental behavior of promoting liberty freedom and human rights they will come back to that and when they must have done that which is already being done i believe that that process is going on now those talks are happening in the congress and the negotiations are going on when conclusions will come in they will know that our people deserve nothing else but complete restoration of their independence and that they will watch to make sure that it happens because it is their right because it is the right thing to do because the freedom of the people is enshrined in the fundamental declarations of human rights that the un holds so strongly protects and serves as custodians even from the time that the organization was founded in 1945 until now. So we are calling on these organizations and these nations to do the right thing, including the British, who have given us some of the history that has become part of our culture. We are calling them to do the right thing because our people are a peaceful people. Our people are a people of dignity. Our people are an intelligent people, and there are people that have not stained their hands with blood, and they are not ready to do that. There are people that have said no to violence, 
and they will not pursue any armed struggle to be able to access their independence because they believe in diplomacy and they believe that our world has so much gone through too much but have developed and come to a point where they can sit on table and agree to disagree without pointing fingers having altercations or exchanging bullets and other war weaponry we believe that on a diplomatic base and as quickly as possible even within the next few weeks and months ahead we will be able to access our independence and we will treat our neighbors la republic as good neighbors and they will treat us also as good neighbors i pray and i have always said from the beginning of this struggle in our generation that our case is special our case is not just like any other case it's special in the sense that we are not asking for a new country we are not asking for a new nation we are not secessionist as some people call it we are simply restoring a country that has existed before we are simply a restoring a nation that has existed before and we want to believe god that our case will go down in history as an example that when a people rise up for self-determination and they are looking for examples where it all happened peacefully without any war or human destruction they will come to our case they will come to our case and say the people of southern cameroonians did it without a war the people of southern cameroonians succeeded without a war the people of ambazonia restored their state and restored their country and their nation without a war they did it and you know why they did it they did it because they believe that there is a god in heaven and that the blood that christ shed on cross was not just for a particular individual it was also for the people of ambazonia and because he already paid the price for us we did not need to pay another price of human life in order to access our freedom and our independence that he also came to give so i'm calling every southern cameroonian to believe because to them that believe the bible says all things are possible if this struggle is delaying it's because some individuals are still doubting some individuals are yet to believe I want you, even if it would take you to come at night to ask questions like Nicodemus did, that, Master, tell us these things because no one can do this except the Lord is with him. If, if you are ashamed of your status, you are ashamed because you have meddled with the Republic, I want you to repent as a certain Cameroonian, every one of us, that you know right deep inside of your bloodstream you know and you feel it that you are a, an ambazonian you are a southern cameroonian but you have remained on the other side of the fence because of some of the things you are benefiting from that i want you to search yourself and if you don't want know anybody to see you during the day telling the world the truth and standing to defend the rights of the people of your own people which is the right thing to do I want you to come even in the night like Nicodemus and meet the leaders and ask questions and tell them, I know this is the right thing to do. This is the truth. But I have this challenge. I have this challenge. I have that challenge. And you are going to receive help. Nicodemus left that day. Change. Christ changed him. He said, except a man be born again, born of water and of the, and of the spirit, even though he came by night, so do not allow shame fear or anything to discourage you from going close to your leaders in this struggle going close to your brothers and your sisters and to say i have been standing on the other side of the struggle for a long time it is time for me now to actually stand for the truth for once in my life so every 
Southern Cameroonian, every Ambazonian worldwide. Wherever you are, stand and let the world hear your voice. The world has been telling our story. CNN, BBC, and all the channels have been telling our story. Al Jazeera have been telling our story. Other TV channels in the world have been telling our story. It is time for us. It is time for us Southern Cameroonians and Bazonians to tell our own story. And that is what we are doing. We shall have debates. We shall have roundtable conferences. We shall have movies. We shall have different media broadcasting strategies and techniques to be able to reach out to the world and tell them our own story and give them our own message and let them know what has happened with us. The world is not supposed to only tell our story without our contribution. We have to start telling the world about how we feel, how the shoe is pinching us, how we are suffering, and how most of us have fled our land where we were supposed to be useful, participating and making great things happen in our own homeland, how we have fled to different parts of the world, and here we are in the United States now, and still fighting, because even the ones that are left behind are still under oppression. It is time to tell this story, and it is time for you to tell that story, because you are the Ambazonian, you are the Southern Cameroonian, you are the one to tell that story. Do not give up on your people, because if you give up on your people, you are giving up on your own self. You are giving up on your own self. You are giving up on your children. You are giving up on your legacy. And you are giving up on your future. So every Southern Cameroonian, every Ambazonian that has been on the other side of the fence, time has come for you to cross over and meet us. Time has come for you to put your own voice and actually for once in your life, at least stand for the truth and say an oppression of a people is the wrong thing and that a people that are a people need to be set need to be allowed to pursue their own liberty to pursue their own lives and to pursue their own happiness so that is where we are and uh, moving forward we are going to be able to tell the world the truth about our people and this truth can only come from our own mouth you cannot expect a stranger to tell you where things are placed in your home they can tell you what they see you know close to them as they get in they can tell you only what they see displayed but those things that are hidden in special angles and those most important things can only be told by you. So our true story, our true life, our true history and the true desire of the kind of future that our people want can only be told by Ambazonians, can only be told by true born Southern Cameroonians. Ambazonia TV is here to do that. It is a TV that God himself has ordained in a time like this. And uh, it is open to everyone. It's open to everyone. We will have gospel music broadcasted. We will have gospel messages broadcasted. We will have our culture of Ambazonia displayed on this TV. We have our business men and women showcased on this TV. We will have our government and our beloved country and Bazunia, our great nation, beautiful land. We will have it displayed on this TV for the world to see, for the world to become our friends, for the world to partner with us, for the world to celebrate with us for the world to enjoy together with us. And therefore, we want you to stay tuned to Amber TV. Each time you want to watch Amber TV, you go online on YouTube, 
will be there live. Type Amber TV dot US all in caps and you will be able to get us as we move forward if there are other channels or other links through which you can be able to watch us we will communicate that to you but again i want to repeat the information of how to get to us you can dial 817-566-3725 817-566-3725 call us on that number and we will be able to make you a partner. We will be able to partner with you. And we will be able to work together with you. You can write to us through or via ambatv.us at gmail.com. A-M-B-A-T-V.us at gmail.com. Send us questions. Send us proposed programs. Send us your business. Anything that will give this TV the platform that it needs, we will welcome it. But above all, we need your financial support and contribution. If you think that you want to become a big investor in this, call that number and we will give you the opportunity to share in this TV. We want to make it the people's TV. The People's TV. Amber TV is the People's TV. Amber TV is the People's TV. Isn't that very exciting? Isn't that very awesome and wonderful? It is very exciting. It's very awesome that we are running things already differently from what we have been experiencing under oppression in 56 years. We want things like this to be open to our people so that everybody can express themselves. Freedom of speech, freedom of participation in government, freedom of enjoying the life that God has given to you. Be part of Amber TV. If you think that you can be a big donor, a big partner, just call that number. We are open for all Ambazonians. You might have had a dream about being part of a TV station or even owning one. This is a dream that has been made open to all Ambazonians. Rush and become part of it and you shall not regret. You will know that you have actually been part of something that God has destined. So again, we are looking forward to hearing from you as quickly as possible. As soon as we start to get feedback in and you people Daddy coming together, no. we are going to make this thing to go worldwide. We are going to make it great. We are going to make it to blossom. We are going to make it awesome. But we need you. We don't want to run this privately. We need this to be run as the people's TV. So again, we will continue with this message on other platforms like our Facebooks, WhatsApp, we we'll continue to solicit your participation and stay tuned with Amber TV because as we have started, we are not going back. Forward ever, backward never. This TV has started and all you have to do is to just keep watching. That's what I can tell you now. Keep watching Amber TV. Keep watching the people's TV. Keep watching Amber TV. Keep watching the People's TV. We want to thank God. And uh, uh, even though we are not in a very big public forum or in our special studio that is being set up right now, I would still like to pray for this yeah. day number one concerning this TV before we close so that God's hand will be at the very foundation even as we have started. Wherever you are, I want you to join me in prayers. The Bible says the good Lord that started a good thing is also going to perfect it. There is a grace to begin and there is a grace to complete. That is why the Bible says he is the author and he is the finisher of our faith. Him that authorized this to begin, he will also finish it. He declares the end from the beginning because he knows that what matters is the end and not just the beginning. If we start with two and we end with two, then we fail. But if we start with two and we end with millions, then we succeeded. That is why 
he always declared the end from the beginning. God is awesome. What an awesome God. What an awesome wisdom and inspiration drawn, drawn from his word. So join me if you are watching me right now. I want you to believe God. Ambazonians are God-believing people. Ambazonians are Christians. Ambazonians have Christianity as part of their culture. So I want you wherever you are to join me as we pray right now. Lift up your hands wherever you are and let's begin to trust God for this TV. Make a word, a declaration in your heart or even you know, vocally concerning Amber TV that the Lord God that has started it will give us the grace to reach our goal. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you and I want to glorify your name for Amber TV, for Ambazonia Television. We want to thank you because we have already had other broadcasting houses for the country of Ambazonia, the country of Southern Cameroons. But you have decided this day to also give us Amber TV. That will be the people's TV. Oh, Holy Spirit of God. We want to thank you and appreciate you because it is the Lord's doing and it is marvelous on our side. We, oh God, cannot do this without you. We want to call upon your name, oh God, and upon your hand and upon your ministering angels to be part of this. That you release them to work with us and you release your anointing and your grace upon Amber TV. Lord, you have given us the grace to begin. We pray, give us grace. To continue and to see the great end of this television. Lord, I pray today that even as we have started a few, we shall end in millions. In the name of Jesus. I declare and I prophesy that God, the destiny of Amber TV shall not be short-circuited, shall not be cut short, shall not be hindered, shall not be obstructed, shall not, O oh God, be cancelled in any way, form or shape. But God, you shall watch over through the power of the Holy Spirit and through the services of the angel, over, angels over Amber TV until it has fulfilled its destiny. Father Lord, we know that when something good like this starts, the enemy rises up and wants to shut it down. But Lord, whatever weapon, whatever voice that rises to shut this TV down, you said we shall condemn that tongue and we condemn it right now in the name of Jesus. You will fight against anyone that fight against this TV. You will contend with those that contend with us. And you will grant this TV success as you have already done right now. Let the partners, let the resources, let the people, let the programs that we need to run here, Father Lord, begin to come. Let them begin to flow. And that this TV will glorify your name and will bring joy, happiness, freedom, independence, liberation to the people of Ambazonia. Father, we dedicate it to you. And we say, receive all the glory and the praise and watch over our success. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Shout a thunderous amen wherever you are. Amen, 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 and amen. I appreciate you very much. Thank you. I am Prophet Daniel Katie. I am based here in Dallas. I am the General Overseer of Restoration Heights Ministries International, but I am also called as a nation builder for this struggle. So you will see our programs here, and you also see me here on this struggle because this is part and parcel of me this is something that i was born for and uh, i will stand with you as you stand with me and stand with amber tv to make sure that we enter boya come october 1st 2017 october 1st 2017 write your calendar that's our birthday and we shall be there together to celebrate the restoration of our independence now begin to make those phone calls i want those phone calls to come in i want those emails to come in send programs send your contribution your financial contribution make proposals of partnership come 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 let us work together and make amber tv the envy of the world
call 817-566-3725, 817-566-3725. And write to us via amber TV dot us at gmail dot com a m b a t v dot us at gmail dot com thank you very much we end here for this broadcast and we look forward to greater broadcast coming and greater things for ambazonia the land of freedom the land of greatness god Bless you.